Good afternoon. Today we have a ton of news and announcements for you, including which Lady Dogs made the All-Region team, details about the volleyball team's final four appearance, and an opportunity for you to have a better understanding of what a sheriff deputy experiences. All of that and a lot more on today's mchslive.com news. If you are interested in law enforcement and public safety, join the Law Enforcement Explorers at the Morgan County Sheriff's Office on November 10th at 6 p.m. to learn more about law enforcement. Now let's get to Cole with the latest about FBLA. FBLA will be hosting their kind of fundraiser. These will make great gifts. The fundraiser ends November 19th, so make sure you come to room 721 to sample or buy a candle. Thanks, Cole. Now it's time for the Going the Distance Award winner. This week's winner was selected by Miss Wingman. The winner was ex exhibited great cash skills and, and showed outstanding communication skills. She was out of the classroom for a period of time but stayed engaged with her classes. This week's Going the Distance winner is Ansley Schultz. We'll be right after the doghouse. Welcome back. Last week, the Lady Dogs softball season came to the end in the Sweet 16 at the GHSA tournament. This week, the coaches of Region 4 3A announced that all region team in Morgan County is well represented. Emma Garner, Avery Kinnett, Rihanna Lanford, Leah Spain, Parker Spain were selected to be on the first team all region team. Making the second team was Sarah Ellen Mercer, Anna Kate Hill, and Ryan Henderson. Emma Garrison was an honorable mention for the all-region team as well. The biggest award from the region is the Player of the Year, and R. Parker Spain was named the 2020 Region 4 AAA Player of the Year. Parker finished the year with a 566 batting average, hitting 11 doubles, one triple, and four home runs. Here's the wildest stat of Parker's season. She's only struck out three times all season. Congrats to all the Lady Dogs on a great season. Now let's get to Christian with football news. The football team will have a game tomorrow at Academy of Richmond. Kickoff will be at 7.30, and if you cannot make it, it will be live on mchslive.com. Thanks, Christian. On November 2nd, Coach Stacy will be having a meeting about information on the Morgan County High School tennis team. If anyone's interested in joining the team, please stop by and see Coach Stacy during lunch at 11.05 to 1.05 in the cafeteria on Monday. The volleyball team will have their final four match Saturday at home. Tickets are $4 for the first 100 students. All other tickets will be sold and will cost $8. There will be a limited number of tickets sold. If you can't make it to the game, you can always watch it live on mchslive.com. Now let's get with Riley for the weather. Today's weather is cloudy with a high of 81 and a low of 51 with a cool breeze. Society's first virtual meeting will be on November 2nd. The link to the meeting will be on the school's website under news and events. All NHS members should be on the lookout for Google Classroom reminders. In game news, we're going to be nostalgic today. Can you believe that Red Dead Redemption 2 was released more than two years ago? Meanwhile, some games you may have grown up playing like GTA 5 was released almost seven years ago. Call of Duty Modern Warfare was 3 was released almost 9 years ago. Even Fortnite's Battle Royale was released 3 years ago. I'm willing to bet that hearing those dates is making you realize how time flies by. It's time for another award-winning joke of the day. Today we are sticking to the Halloween and since Christian didn't get yesterday's joke, we are going to stay with the mummy theme. Why are mummies so tense? They are all wound up. Here's another one for you. What kind of mummy, what kind of music does mommy like? Rap.
Thank you for watching today's show. Join us tomorrow for more news from around Morgan County as we get ready for a great Halloween weekend. Have a great day, and as always, go dogs.